was starting a vlog in the day wow okay so hi guys um i'm going to be doing a christmas vlog it's christmas eve today and it's about half one um i was going to vlog christmas eve and christmas um and then i woke up and it was like really badly raining and windy it was just horrible like you wouldn't even be able to hear me if i <laughs> if i vlogged but now it's like super sunny so i don't know what's going on with this weather but um yeah so i'm gonna vlog um i'm going to a shop now because i need to buy some stuff and my dad actually went to the shop um earlier and he told me that he couldn't even park because it was like that busy so it's gonna be fun um i need to get just a couple of things um for tomorrow and then i'm gonna go straight to luna um she's been in all day but i have been to see her today um and i think i'm going to hack her but without tack because i yesterday i literally spent about two hours cleaning all of my tack so i don't want it to get muddy um which should be interesting um because i also haven't hacked her since like the beginning of November and it's now like the end of December so hopefully she doesn't spook too much um because I won't have like a saddle or a bridle um I'm gonna wear I'm gonna put a head collar on her but that's like it so hopefully I don't die but yeah I'll see you guys probably at Luna because I don't really think I'm gonna be able to vlog when it's like crazy at the store so yeah see you at Luna so I'm on Loon hey Loony um, I'm on Luna. I just literally like got to the yard and I just put a head on her and literally got her. And it's so cold. It's freezing. It's like really windy. I didn't think it was going to be windy, but it is. And I'm just wearing my old hat that I used to show jump in. Um, it's probably like actually unsafe by now because I've had it for like five years and fallen off in it and all of that stuff um, so it's probably quite unsafe but it's aerated and it's like really cool to wear and I've just um, washed my hair so I don't want to get like hat hair um, so yeah I'm just wearing this one um, and we're just gonna hack aren't we Lou? she's just eating Yeah, she's just eating the grass and I'm gonna hack for like half an hour hopefully and hopefully I won't fall off. But yeah. <laughs>
that much at the stables but um, I pretty much just hacked for like half an hour and I logged a little bit of it but she was being like super spooky so I didn't want to like film everything because I needed two hands um, but she was stretching like most of the time she was stretching down like when I had a contact with her um, it was just like when I had like loose reins when I was trying to film that she was just like looking everywhere and just being like super spooky and like yeah so I hadn't um hacked her since probably the very beginning of November um so things look quite different especially because they're like it's a lot wetter than it used to be and there's just more water everywhere so I think she was being like oh I kind of recognize this but I don't really recognize this so um Plus, you know, just being fresh because she hasn't been out for so long. And the reason for that is just because I've been so... It's just, it's a combination of being lazy and um, not having time. Because when I go to the yard, it's... Because it's winter, it gets dark at like four o'clock. And it's dark in the morning until about like quarter past eight. So I go to the stables really early. And and when I ride usually it's like just about getting a light outside so I don't really want to hack when it's pretty much dark outside and if I ride in the afternoon it's dark again usually because I finish college at four not ev not every day um, but I usually finish around three four o'clock so by the time I get like everything done it's um, dark like pitch black dark and I don't want to hack in the dark but yeah so she was a bit fresh um I need to make more of an effort definitely to hack her more because I think she's getting bored of schooling and there's only so much you can do in school that's different really um I'm actually gonna hack I'm, I'm gonna try and start hacking on the road more often but the road that my yard's on is a 60 miles per hour road and that's about a hundred kilometers if you're somewhere where it has kilometers I think that's around a lot hundred kilometers um, and it's you can't really drive that fast on that road because it's quite bendy and you can't really see everything and you know it's like it's kind of like a country road but it's not like super thin it's just kind of a country ish road um, but yeah so I don't really like hacking out on that road because it's just like kind of dangerous you don't I mean most people don't go 60 obviously it's like impossible to go 60 but some people give it a good try <laughs> so you get some people that are just like crazy just zooming down the road and um, I've hacked her out once on the road before and she didn't care she went under a motorway bridge and it was super noisy she didn't care about that she had people zooming past her, she didn't care about that. We had some people like being nice about it and being slow and how you should pass a horse and she was fine with that. And we had bikes, she was fine with that. We had buses, she was fine with that as well. And <laughs> the thing she wasn't fine with, which is super strange and it's just so typical of her, was going past a few rocks on the road um not rocks but like sort of big boulder things um yeah she basically it's a main road but it's not super busy for a main road it's just like a country-ish road as i was saying but there's like houses a few houses just off the road and the drive to their house like the little road bit um they have like a few boulders on either side of the drive just to make it look nice and that's what luna was scared of she was terrified of the rocks and she's so strange like she's 
Um, there's this one rock on our hacking, like, by the forest that, um, it's quite a big, like, boulder sort of thing. And that was the first time, like, a, she really spooked with me. Um, and she just was going ballistic, like, she would not go past this rock. And she literally, like, went into a bush, got, like, stuck in a bush, just so she would be able to pass this rock with, like, loads of space. <laughs> She's ridiculous. Um... So yeah, these rocks on the road, she was scared of them, um, and she literally like went into the other side of the road trying to get past them, and I was like, oh god, Luna. <laughs> um, and there was someone behind me driving, and they were super nice, and they just like stopped and waited for her to get over herself. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't want her to, I want to hack her more on the road because it's good for her feet as well. And it means she'll get more variety in the winter without me having to go, like, through the mud and everything like I did today. Plus, because that gets my tack so dirty all the time. Like, unless it's in summer, I just get splashes all over my girth, boots, uh, saddle, sometimes even my bridle, like my nose band. I don't know how. Well, I know how because she stretches, like, and her nose is on the floor. Yeah, um, yeah. so I don't want to go through that every, like, few days, so I want to hack on the road more, but then, like, I don't want to be run over by cars, basically. Um, so, t tomorrow's Christmas Day, and it's the road is going to be dead, like, there's, no, there's going to be no one out, um, so <laughs> I'm going to be on the road with Luna, basically. Um, I'm putting on my Lemieux, my new mustard Lemieux set because it's kind of like bright and yellow it's kind of like high-vis and I'll be wearing my high-vis vest um just in case there is cars but yeah so um me and Luna going out on the roads tomorrow um hope and I hopefully she'll be okay with the rocks because she's actually gotten over the rock by the forest she's not scared of that anymore or at least she wasn't last time she went past it but um so hopefully we can do some work with those rocks while there's no cars out or hardly any cars out and then hopefully I'll be hacking on the roads more often but yeah I still kind of am like scared of someone being an idiot and running me over but you know oh well but yeah so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna vlog tomorrow I'm, it's not gonna be a very interesting day um, I guess I'll show you guys what I get here for Christmas. Um, I'm not really getting much because, well, my parents, well, I don't really expect much from my parents. But my mum did say she got me wellies, which is quite a funny present. <laughs> but, um, basically my wellies have split, like, everywhere. And every time I go into the field, like, my feet just get drenched. It's awful. So, recently I've been just, like, being bad and wearing my tall boots in the field and they've been getting like really muddy and everything um and I was like my mum was with me one day and she was like you shouldn't do that <laughs> and I was like I know but I've you know otherwise I get like really wet muddy feet and it's disgusting um I need to buy more wellies and she was like don't buy wellies because I bought you some for Christmas and I was like great can I have them now and this was like three weeks ago and <laughs> I was like great can I have them now because I kind of need them and she was like, no, you have to wait till Christmas. And I was like, but I can't, I need wellies. <laughs> but yeah, she's made me wait. So I, I've just been like super careful about um, going in my tall boots. And I've been cleaning them and conditioning them like all the time. Hopefully they're not ruined. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for my hack. But I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to vlog it because... I don't want to be one-handed on the road. I'm actually, I've got a chest mount from my phone, which I used a while ago in one of my vlogs to record me on a hack. So I think I'm going to use that. Plus, if anyone zooms past me, I'll have their registration number, so that'll be good. <laughs> okay, see you guys tomorrow. I really hope, well, I was going to say, I really hope you have a good Christmas, but this isn't the end of the vlog anyway, so yeah, see you guys. 
I've just realized this whole time I've had chocolate on my nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that was from, I just had a hot chocolate and it was amazing. And I put it on my nose apparently. Hey guys, so it's Christmas and it's like nine o'clock and I've just done my stable. No one else is here and I just want to show you guys what like the, fir the first thing I got for Christmas was and I haven't opened all my presents this is the only thing I've opened so I just thought I'd show you so I just thought I'd show you guys the boots closer up in better light um this is on the inside and they have like a suede patch and that's for grip if you want to ride in them oh they have a zip on the back which I didn't actually realise <laughs> that would have come in handy but they do slip on really well if you want to just slip them on, but they apparently have a zip on the back. Inside they're lined with this really soft fleece and it's all the way down and on the sole as well. Then on this side they have the HKM logo and they have this thing to help you pull them on. And on the front they are fully laced up and they have a rubber bottom here which is really quite tough, hopefully they don't get split very quickly and the rest of the boot is this sort of neoprene material I think, I don't know but it's waterproof and yeah it's that, that material that makes that noise <laughs> amazing description but yeah so they're the boots I got and I love them because they're really tall on my leg they like come up to my knee which is really great So I'm just going to get some hay and then I'm going to tack up for my hack, yay. Um, I, it was raining before but it was just spitting so hopefully it should be okay. Um, even if it does rain, I don't even care, I'm still hacking on the road. <laughs> Um, we didn't have any huge meltdown at the rocks, but she did look at them 
and she kind of felt like she was stuck and she couldn't really move very well <laughs> trying to go past them um, but she did go past them and yeah we went past them twice um, because I went up and down the road two times which took about 25 to 20 minutes I think and um, there were a few cars out the majority of them did just like not slow down at all and I did have one that came like right up to close to me when it was passing me and I was just like you idiot <laughs> um, but she was fine with that um, she was pretty tense throughout the whole thing she did relax towards the end and stretch she was quite hollow for the beginning for like 10 minutes and sort of when we were going away from home she, you could feel that she didn't really want to go she was kind of like hesitant and she was a bit um, not lazy but like you know she wasn't moving forward off the leg very well um, but that stopped the second time around she was really good so hopefully after we do it a few times she'll be completely relaxed about the whole thing and I'm just so glad we didn't like run into the other side of the road when we went past those rocks because there was someone behind me that just completely did not slow down yeah so I'm happy with her and now I'm gonna go home and just like eat food I'm getting so fat from Christmas I swear to god so this might be the end of the vlog I'm not really sure um, but if it is, I'll see you guys next time. I'll probably be, my next video will probably be on the 3rd or 4th of January. And that'll be the show jumping vlog that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go to a international show jumping show. And I'll just vlog that like I vlogged Olympia. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I really hope you have a good Christmas and a good new year. And yeah, bye guys. <laughs>